Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate an OEE monitoring system dashboard using Smart ICS SCADA. Smart ICS is SCADA or IoT software platform for industrial automation, telemetry, monitoring, BMS and IoT systems without programming. For detail information about Smart ICS you can visit the official website at smartics.io. In this video, I'm utilizing Node-RED to calculate values that will be displayed on a dashboard sourced from a PostgreSQL database. Node-RED will function as a Modbus TCP, equipped with several holding registers and coil registers. The calculated parameter data will then be stored in the holding registers. Several values stored in the holding registers are 32-bit floats, requiring two holding register addresses. Please observe how to store 32-bit float data in holding registers using Node-RED functions. These parameter values will be refreshed every second, ensuring that the displayed data is real-time. Here's the code snippet for writing a float value into the holding register. This is the code within the function to write a float value into the holding register. This allows Smart ICS to read it as a float value later on. In Node-RED, it's crucial to ensure that all parameter values intended for display on the Smart ICS dashboard are accurately calculated and stored in the designated holding registers. This ensures ease during the dashboard creation process within Smart ICS. After Node-RED has stored all parameters in the holding register, the next step in Smart ICS is to establish a connection to the Modbus TCP IP address of the Node-RED. Next, in the Smart ICS data source settings, add a connection to the Modbus TCP IP address of Node-RED. Then, create all parameters corresponding to each holding register. These parameter values will be utilized on the dashboard. Ensure that the register addresses for each parameter created in Smart ICS match the addresses configured in Node-RED. This is the OEE monitoring system dashboard created in Smart ICS. Several values are displayed, including start status, downtime status, loading time, stop time, and operation time. Additionally, it shows the values for availability, performance, and quality, as well as the OEE value itself. Moreover, there's a pie chart comparing OEE with losses. When the machine is operating, the start status indicator will be illuminated and we can observe the loading time value increasing. Additionally, the availability value on the gauge will rise. As the output value increases, the performance value will also increase. For quantity values such as output, defects, and OK units, they can be viewed in the quantity table. When downtime occurs, the downtime status indicator will light up, and we can see the availability value decreasing. Additionally, the stop time value will increase. We can also observe on the bar chart for downtime categories. Currently, the downtime that occurs is categorized as breakdown, and we can see the value for the breakdown category is increasing accordingly. In conclusion, this video has demonstrated the implementation of an OEE monitoring system using Smart ICS and Node-RED. The key points highlighted include, integration of Node-RED for calculating and storing parameter values into holding registers. Configuration of Smart ICS to establish a Modbus TCP connection to Node-RED and mapping parameter values from holding registers. Real-time monitoring of machine status indicators such as start and downtime, along with corresponding changes in availability and stop time values and also in other parameters of OEE calculation. Tracking of performance metrics like loading time and output quantity, with visualization through gauges and tables. Analysis of downtime categories, particularly focusing on the categories, represented in a bar chart. This comprehensive setup enables effective monitoring and analysis of machine performance, facilitating informed decision-making to optimize production processes. Thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.